Polygon tool. Click here to make a polygon. A dialog box similar to the one we saw for the place mark appears. Let's add a name and then let's move it out of the way. We are drawing a polygon around the Students' Union building here at Southampton. Click a point to begin. Click another. And the polygon appears as a white triangle. Add another and we've got a square. We could go on adding more points to make a more complex shape, but a square will do us for now. The white square is not a good colour. We want the building to be semi-visible under the polygon, but it should still stand out as a square shape. Let's edit the style and colour. Click the tab here. Click here to change the colour of the border. I could choose black, but because of the dark green around the polygon, white is a good colour for the border. It happens to be the default border colour, but just to show you, I'll select white as a colour here. Now click OK. I'll also increase the width of the line to make it more visible. Now click to edit the colour of the polygon fill. Bright red would stand out well, but would be too bright for the fill. It would be too annoying to look at. Pastel blue wouldn't annoy, but it wouldn't stand out enough. Purple is a good compromise here, intense enough to be visible, but not too annoying, especially if we reduce its opacity. Now click OK. If we change the opacity of the fill to 70% and then click OK, we have produced a polygon marking the location of the Students' Union building.